the next one will be our um, inside back page um, and for this I have here um, a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter I have already glued down my um, double-sided tape and on this there will be on the left side or did I do this on the right side I think I will do this on the right side there will be a flap that measures seven and a half by eight and a quarter and we will do here a half inch hinge and I will do this right away half inch And this I will glue on the left, on the right side, not on the left, on the right side. And I will glue this down. So, and on top of here we will do a belly band um, like this and um, I have to think about it um, first I will decorate the inside and for this I have this design paper that goes on here so and what I have to do is I have to place a magnet in the middle so I will search for my middle and I will place on the back side a magnet And on here also, this will be our closure. And now I need another magnet. OK. 
Okay, this is good. And this is later on for um, a picture mat here for the inside to hold this down. So this we need later. The next one will be um, our belly band. And for this I will do a fold line, half inch on one side. Then I have to measure where to put my next fold line. It's here. And now I can place my belly band. Um, this will go on here. So I think this is a good spot. So I will make a mark. I forget to tell you the measurements from my belly band. Um, this was an 8 inch piece by one and a quarter and we have to do like I uh, uh, showed you a half inch inch on both sides. Sorry. And the other side. The decoration paper for here is, this is for the outside, on here, This goes on my belly band. Inside of here there will be two tags and this will be the decoration and this will be a stopper so that my um, tags will not uh, go through or slip out of the belly band. So that means I had to glue this here on this piece and on um, this his boots. But first I will distress my spaceman. So 
so and I had to put the glue here on this middle part and here on the end of his boots. So I think this is a good spot. For the tags, <clears throat> I have two tags. One is six and three quarters by five and three quarters, and the other one is six and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, and I think I will round my corners.
these are the two tags and you see here we have these stopper and this cannot slip through that belly band so on the inside we have to glue this one on here So, and on here we will do another tag. We have to adjust this a little. I think an 8x8 eight eight is too big. Um, let me say we do this 7 inch. Seven inch by six and a half. No, seven and a half. Um, I had to measure this. Here. This goes on here. Uh, we have to cut this also. So he will lose his flag. So this tag will sit on here and to hold this in place we will place our magnet. I need some double sided tape.
and this is the inside from our um, cover. So then we can glue this inside of the cover. I need some space. What I did on the cover, I already um, decorate my backside and the spine. And um, I'm working with a four size paper. So an A4 size is eight and a quarter in the width. So this is a nine inch. One piece of paper was not enough. So I cut this uh, I cut two pieces of A4 and uh, glued this here together you can see this not really much but you can feel it that you have here um, the connection but you don't see it so it's okay on the spine we have the stripes and this one goes here on the back side. Um, like I said, I'm working with some A4 size paper. So we have here these, um, this border and I don't like this border. That means I will glue down some of these strip paper and then I will glue down here my um, my page um, just a second did I have another stripe? Uh, no. Hmm. I think I will change this one and I will use here these dotted one mm -hmm. yeah so I will cut some half inch strips
this is the inside back cover page. We have here our two tags for some pictures. Here we have a spot for some pictures and here and here also. So this was the last page. Uh, maybe I will do here another stopper. Um, I will see what I have left. Maybe I will put here a planet or one of these stamps again. Um, this is a little bit too wide, a little bit too open here. But this comes later. And what we now have to do is our front cover. And for this, I have a really nice idea. For the front cover, I will do, um, uh, yeah, normal. For the front cover, I will do yeah, a little bit uh, something the same what I did on my spooky Halloween album. I will do something with a light. And this is the reason why we have to decorate these at the end. Because we have here these light and I will make here a hole and put these battery and on off thing here on the inside from the cover. So um, we need a background and I have here again these printable. We need a background um, and I have here a piece of cardstock in the same size as the decoration paper from the um, backside cover. I will work on this one. So we need a piece of cardstock. We need a decoration paper. I have here some wooden pieces. Um, this will be the frame for the cover and I need some uh, decoration pieces and I think I will cut out here these spacemans and put this on top of my cover and we need some um, acetate sheets. <clears throat> so how can I do this? I have prepared already here the back side with some double-sided tape and I think I will glue in the first step here my background paper. Finding a nice spot. I don't make a try out, so what I do now is all ways the first try out so hopefully this will work. I had this in mind and I thought yeah could be so I have here these this is a really really light um, 
wooden some uh, uh, really light wooden sticks um, in Germany we call this balsa wood balsa holz and what I want to do is I will glue here these wooden pieces as a frame like this and from the same wood I have here these pieces um, this is a half inch and it's a one of an eighth and these pieces are oh yeah a three sixteenths yeah barely a quarter of an inch not really of thickness first I will make here like I said this frame and then I will glue on top here these pieces and that gives me here um, a place where I can hide my my lights hopefully okay I will start like I said first try out and I had to do a good cut a straight cut and a clean cut
So this is the frame. Here we glue later on our clear sheet or acetate. We'll glue it here on that frame and later on we make um, um, a paper decoration so you can't see these wooden piece. Here we can hide the lights. You will not see this. And I will decorate the inside with these planets. Um, 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 um. Here I have more. Maybe like this. And like this. Maybe a blue one. We have to do the lights. I need my hot glue gun. I have pre-cut my clear sheet later on for here. And now I have to choose, did I want to have the colorful lights, this one, or the bright lights. I am still not sure. Hmm. It is a playful album and it's for a child, so I think I will go with the colored one. So then I will put this away and I will go for this one. Yeah, okay. This frame will go, where is the top there, on here. So that means I need a hole here and in, uh, through, these, uh, through our front cover for the lights. So this will sit on here. So I think I will make a hole here. And here. Starting with the smaller one. Inside. Like this. And through that other hole. Like this. 
this. I need a little bit more space. And then I will start with the first light under this frame. Let me turn the lights a little bit more down so I can see more of these lights and I need something I think a tweezer will be good so and then I have to make some hot glue under my frame to hold the lights in place. So first round, quick check, yeah, this looks good. Um, I can do another round or I can place all my stars and planets. I have here these space shuttle and This one, maybe. So, and then I can poke some holes and I can go through all these planets around 
and putting some light under. I think I would like this. First, I will glue this green one here under. How many did I have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the rest under these two guys. Yeah, so that means I have to glue this underneath of here. Hmm. Okay. I will poke a hole next to this green light I glued here under. Then I had to pull this through that hole. Okay, this one was on here, so that means I poke a hole again. lights out of that hole then I have here here a planet and another hole. Everything goes back. like this Number one, 
<clears throat> so the next one. fantastic exactly how this I would turn out perfect so then we can glue the frame here on the front cover and then we can go further putting the um, clear sheet on making the uh, paper decoration and then I can place my outside decoration maybe I put here some planets in that corner I will see yeah this comes next okay now we can glue our frame this is it from the back side with the wire from the lights. We will glue this now on our cover. On the outside I will put my art glitter glue for more security. For the inside, 
I put my cheap glue. So Okay, now I pull this tight and we can put this here on our cover. Yeah, this looks good, I think. And I will glue this down. Be carefully here with the wood. It's really, it's a very soft wood. And um, this could break. So I had to be really careful. needs a little bit more pressure because of all the wire that is under my background paper. This will lift up until my glue is a little bit more dry and has a good grip. Oopsie, be careful. So now I think it's okay. Yeah. The next step is to glue our clear sheet here on the frame. And I think I will use some red tape on the outside and some art glitter glue. So, the protection sheet. And I will use my small tape. So, last chance to do here on the cover. Some changes if it's needed. But I think this is okay. So then I will clean the inside.
So, the next step, we have to cover our frame. And um, which paper I will use? Did I want to use this one? Or did I want to use something else? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. This could be an option, but I think then I had to print out another sheet. Yep, this is the last one. But I have this one again, so I think I will use this one. We need some half inch, half inch, yeah. I will do this a little bit more than a half inch, just for the safety. So, and I will glue this in an angle, um, I will cut this in an angle, so I lay this here on the spot and I make a mark where my edge of this frame is. And then I will cut from the corner to this mark and then I can glue this here on top and I get the perfect angle so then I will distress this
frame and now let me take this a little bit more down or maybe I can make the light out. I think this looks really cute. So lights on. So, and I will decorate a little bit more here on the cover. This one will go on here. I glue these flat on my cover. I will leave it. I don't want to put too much on. So let me trim, make the light off. What do you think? I think this is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. This is on the inside, no! I think this is from the hot glue gun. There is something inside, okay. And what we now have to do is, we have to decorate here the inside cover front. First I have to close my glue and make a little bit not such a mess. So we have to decorate this one and we have to make um, a little pocket for these um, battery thing. So I will make here a pocket for this. Um, now it looks like this and when I glue this together and this, this is really sturdy.
so this is here for um, the wire so I put this here inside So again, this goes inside, then I can make this like this and put this on here. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I will glue this together. And this I will glue here. On my cover and this goes inside of here. like this.
perfect. So this is the front cover. I think we have to do something here on the uh, spine. I will do with some paper beads um, a dangle with a clam with this one here. And I have to do on the back side my label and I will use this one. 